I know hawks work fast, but that doesn't mean the Ark has to go fast either. This arc escalated to action quickly. Maybe this is a mini arc to show off the new dilemma on the horizon. As of now, the story evolves within Denver and Hawks, the top two heroes roaming around the city with a crisis waiting to occur. This chapter explored a new rising problem with few amusing moments and a cliffhanger that wastes no time for action. The chapter begins like we are reading a spin-off Vigilantes where a random trouble occur and the main characters are there to show up. A man is crying about suffocating with life dealing with his surroundings that force him to be sensitive. Hazukashi has a quirk called shame. If he thought love was a unique power boost, this one grants him power the more he is embarrassed. In other words, strip naked and you will be godlike. Too bad he's taken out in a breeze by hawks as he's casually walking and chatting with Endeavor. Could you imagine if All For One obtains that quirk? Will he really strip for power? Anyway, from there on, it does go through a series of amusing moments. Hawks doesn't have to go physical as he lets his fetters do the work. Not only he can take out villains, but he can also assist and rescue. He saves a dog and helps a granny, all without leaving his position. This is a better presentation of Hawks' character to be laid back yet able to take care of the problem. He also showed charisma, coming off as a likable hero. The last chapter did have him acting irrational, but his standpoint and ideology aren't so cruel. I can't see where the thought of approval rating come from with the way he approaches the fans. His little use of quirk gets him praise and likability rate increases. Same cannot be said for Endeavor, however, which will prove what Hawks suggested before. He should improve his approval rating now that he's number one. There is one kid that actually likes him, so Endeavor has a chance to make a name for himself. He offers a handshake, but the kid feels betrayed. Why? Because he knows Endeavor don't do fan service at all. Thus, he is heartbroken. That is one hardcore fan. That was funny though. Somehow, it's not far apart from reality. Hmm. Huh. Hawks continued on to talk like he and Endeavor are only traveling to have a good time. He's really carefree, especially in compared with Endeavor, so he likes to chat about many things. The only problem is his way of speaking can lead to some bad behavior, including when he mentioned Shoto. He wanted to offer him to intern with his brand, but after what happened, he's glad that he got Tokoyami instead since Shoto failed the provisional exam. Otherwise, his brand will be damaged. Douche. The scene of the discussion about the rumors of Nomu and their current whereabouts is interesting, though some parts feel like padding. It's kind of funny how Endeavor was into the discussion, but leaving Hawks has an evidence to confirm, only to be shut down by disappointment and rage because he has none. The idea is to give Endeavor a chance to improve his rating. The timing is strange since the anime is covering the exact moment of what Hawks is talking about, the Kamino incident. It was the last time we have seen Nomu on panel, but after that, they're gone. It's understandable on why the discussion goes on very long with a lot of questionable points that has Hawks curious. The fans already saw it for themselves, so the mystery isn't really much as one, only to the characters themselves. Maybe if High End wasn't displayed last time, this would have been spooky and intriguing. Still, I can't credit them on how they come up with the logical explanation. The one part that interested me is Hawks gives a reason, more or less, on why he wants Endeavor to team up as well as the reflection behind his rude interruption. Nomu is a believable, terrifying creature, so with their long absence, if they were to show up now, everyone would lose their mind. We saw a random villain act in the beginning because it reflects that notion, which is actually a good tie-in. That's why Hawks want Endeavor to tag along to give him more prestige as a number one hero. Basically, he dragged him to do the hard work and show the citizens that he can handle the job with ease and no one shall fear. That's actually nice of him, albeit wanting to relax and do light work, which is selfish in a sense. Still, it's a good idea on one hand by pushing Endeavor's credibility higher. 
It's a little funny though with the thought of citizens being selfish on relying the hero all the time, but I digress. What intrigued me is Hawk's wish. He wants the world to be a place where heroes have light work so they can have more free time. That would be an intriguing subplot of a hero not knowing what to do when they are free. I would like this train of thought to push forward and see where it lies on. I do enjoy his character so far. I hope it's not one and done scenario once the next level no more is done. Speaking of the devil, to my surprise, High End does arrive right where they are dining at. Well, that escalated quickly. I guess we waste no time for build up or anything. Get straight to the action. It's like there is a possible modified normal somewhere. Then, oh, there it is, fight it. I can't say I'm against it. Interesting that it seeks for the strongest hero. This looks like a job for Endeavor. The chapter ends with a battle already about to commence. I do like those two double page spread. Really cool looking. Perhaps that's where Kohi's energy went in, which is why the last chapter was shorter. I'm only joking though. Endeavor is already in combat mode, about to make a name for himself to the world. That is if he can't win. I do wonder if there's more high end. Overall, it was a good chapter. I did find the beginning amusing, especially with that one hardcore fan. That's extreme of him. I do like Hawk so far, outside of his some smart and rude remarks, and his attention is good. The artwork is pretty good, especially the last couple of pages. The discussion couldn't have cut down shorter or get to the point quicker, but there were other merits that were reasonable. The cliffhanger left me anticipated for the battle. Though I wonder if this arc will be really short, unless Endeavor will lose here. It can be the showcase of High End's power or a short arc. Flame on! Yeah, I said it. And that will do it for the review. I hope you enjoyed this one. Maybe this arc will be a short one, just to demonstrate Endeavor as the number one hero, as well as showcasing the power of High End. It's too early to call, honestly, so we'll see what happens. Do you think Endeavor will win? Do you think there will be a twist? Do you think there will be more High End? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel, and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.